One JavaScript event that is rarely talked about is animation end. This event is fired when a CSS animation has completed. And I'm going to show you an example here where this can be applicable. Now, let's say I have this toast button here. And when you click on this, we get a toast notification. If we look at the code for this, we have this button when you click on show toast, it calls add toast and add toast creates a new element and adds the element to the toaster container. And this is the toaster container here. But if we come here now, we go to the DOM. If I open this toaster, you can see we have one notification here now even though this toast notification is no longer necessary it has been animated out of the screen it is still here in the dom and if i should add another toast we have this add three four five toast we have five toast elements here in the dom even though all of them have already been animated from the screen so one thing we can do here is to clean up the dom since that element is no longer needed one way you might think of doing this is to have a set timeout where after three seconds, we call toast.remove. Now, why are we using three seconds? Well, that's because the animation here takes three seconds. So after three seconds, we remove that toast element after it has been created. Now, if I should refresh this, we add a toast. You can see the toast here. And then after it goes three seconds, it is removed. And this is not maintainable because if I change the time of the animation here, I also have to change that here in the set timeout so that the animation fades out smoothly. And instead of doing this, I can just listen to the animation end event. So on the toast add event listener animation and then I call toast remove. And this event will be called after that animation has been completed, whether three seconds, four seconds, whatever number of seconds you specified in your CSS. So now if I come here and refresh, if I click on show toast, we have this here and after the animation completes, it's removed. Let me create three toasts at once. So one, two, three. You can see three of them here and after their animations are completed they are removed so this event is very useful when you want to trigger a certain logic after a css animation has been removed this is one use case where a toast notification comes in for a user it leaves the screen it might as well leave the dom but you can definitely use this to clean up other things that you animate either into your screen or out of your screen